Hello, first grade. Today we are going to be working on chapter 10, lesson two. So please make sure you have your pencil and then you have your math book and you're open to page 717, 717. If you need time to get there, pause the video and unpause when you're ready to get started. All right, so yesterday we started learning about different types of three-dimensional shapes. We learned about cubes and rectangular prisms. And today we're going to learn about two more types of three-dimensional shapes. And I want you to look at this front page and I want you to see what shapes or what you see really. Like what is this called? I see ice cream on the top, but what do we call this? Ice cream cone. We call it an ice cream cone because it's in a cone. So this is one of the three-dimensional shapes we're going to talk about today. So picture yourself holding this ice cream cone. It's melting down the side. You have to lick up the chocolate so it doesn't melt all over your hand. Think about what shape that cone is. Think about how your hand feels around it. And then this is the other shape that we're going to talk about today. And this is a cylinder. Okay, so we're going to talk about them. Notice how the sides of both of our objects today are rounded. So that's really interesting. All right, let's turn our page. All right, so let's learn a little bit more about cones and cylinders. So cones and cylinders are two more types of three-dimensional shapes. Both shapes have at least one face. So remember, the faces are those flat sides. But only cones have a vertex. So let's look down here. We can see our cone. It has a vertex at the top. It kind of looks like a birthday hat. And then it's rounded all around the sides. And then there's a face on the bottom. It's flat. So. Let's see, how many faces does it have? Well, we can see on the bottom here, it has one face. And how many vertices does it have or vertex? It just has one, one vertex. So now let's look over here at our cylinder. How many faces does it have? Well, the faces are on the top and the bottom. That's how it sits. So there's one on the top. And one on the bottom, so there's two faces. And then how many vertices does it have? Guess what, first grade? There are not any vertices. Zero vertices. All right, so let's practice writing them. So what is this first object here? Is it a cone or a cylinder? We'll look back up here. Which one does it look like? Well, it looks exactly like the cylinder, so I'm thinking that's what it is. And then let's look how many faces and vertices does the cylinder have? Well, it has two faces and zero vertices. Remember, no corners, no points. Now I want you to do number two by yourself. What shape is this? Is it a cone or a cylinder? Circle it. And then tell me how many faces and how many vertices. Go ahead and pause until you're finished and then unpause so we can check your work. All right, so let's see, you should have done number two by yourself. So I can see that this is a cone because I noticed that it has one face. The face this time is on the top because they have it turned upside down. And there's one vertex on the bottom. All right, let's move to our problem solving page. And let's see, number eight says, which three dimensional shape has only one face? So think back to the two three dimensional shapes that we've learned about today. And think about the ones that we learned about yesterday. And which one of them has only one face? Hmm. Flip back, see which one has only one face. 
we know that a cone has only one face. So go ahead and write the word cone on the line. Number nine says, what shape are the faces of this cylinder? Draw each of the faces and explain to a friend why the three-dimensional shape has two faces. So let's think, what shape are the faces? Now, it's really hard to see with this drawing first grade, but think about if you would have a container for peanuts or a container for trail mix or even sometimes pretzels or goldfish come in a container like this where it's round at the top and round at the bottom or soup can. Soup can is a cylinder too. The top and bottom both look like this. So what shape is that? Well, we know from last chapter it is a circle. So the shapes on the top and bottom, the faces are circles. All right. Let's go back to your independent practice and see what you're going to be doing by yourself. So for numbers three and four, you're going to decide which object is it. Is it a cone or a cylinder? Circle it and then write how many faces and how many vertices each one has. For number five, circle the shape that has the face. Circle the shape of the faces that are the part of each object. So what shape? is the face of this object. Think about your ice cream cone. If you would set it upside down, what shape would that be? And then what shape are the faces of this object? Number seven, circle the object that has the faces shown. So here I see two faces. So which one of these objects has two circle faces? Once you're finished, you're all done for today and I will see you for math tomorrow.